guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider to subscribe it helps the channel thank you very much i want to show you what we got here we got this sandbar this is samsung sandbar c450 sandbar this is 2.1 channel sandbar with wireless subwoofer dts visual x this sandbar is bass bust adaptive sound lit game mode you can hook this sandbar to your tv via bluetooth optical cable when we open this sandbar up we're going to find out if we can hook it up via hdmi cable this is wireless surround sound compatibility so we're going to check it out see what is inside and i hope this will help you to make informed choice about this gear This sandbar is with Dolby Audio. Here we go. This is the subwoofer here. And information pack, power cable, battery. It's using triple air battery for the remote and remote included in the packaging and also wall mount. Sandbar here. Nice, very light. Nice packaging. This is very light. Here we go. So the top is for my is wood and the front is cloth. So black clothing in front of it. Very nice. Very slim. Dolby Audio DTX 2.1 channel. See what it looks like. The subwoofer here. Beautiful. This is the subwoofer. So this is the manual remote control included in the packaging. the remote Samsung remote power cables so one is for the subwoofer and one is for the sandbar and wall mount and also the battery 
and the battery, three put air battery. So up, optical cable and HDMI cable not included in the packaging. So this is the subwoofer. This is what we have here. This is the subwoofer and remote control power cables. So two power cables included. One is for the subwoofer and one is for the sandbar. And this is the wall mount and the battery and information pack. So optical cable and HDMI cable not included in the packaging. So this is what is in the box. So we're going to measure this sandbar from this end so this end is 86 centimeter length, 86 centimeter. The width is 8 centimeter width. Now subwoofer is 8.8 centimeter. Okay, and the front from the front to the back is 30 centimeter. Then from this angle the height 34.5 centimeter okay and uh, so the power cable goes in, in here where it's written power now this end you have digital audio in and usb so the port digital audio in for so for optical cable and usb port and the power cable okay so you can connect this with hdmi cable you can connect it via optical cable and bluetooth okay and uh, usb now i'm going to show you how to set this up using the mobile phone first of all what we need to do is you need to put the battery okay inside the remote control so we have the triple air battery is what it's using okay so take the negative to the negative end and positive okay to the end where it's supposed to be so okay now push this up okay this is the remote and this is the power cable we take this cable plug it okay to the back of the subwoofer push it in if you want to reset this subwoofer, you need to press this button here for you to reset it for five seconds. Then take this and, and plug it on to the power. And you can see, okay, so you can see the blue light is flashing. It's not yet paired. Once it's connected, it should be a steady blue light. This power cable goes to the power so push it inside to the power and plug it on to the socket this time by you can also control it from the top so this button here on the top is for you to switch it on the minus is for you to decrease the volume the plus is for you to increase the volume this button here is input for you to select optical or usb or bluetooth you switch this soundbar on and off from here this button here is the input use this button to select bluetooth or optical cable or usb when you select Bluetooth, then you select pair for the sandbar to be in Bluetooth pairing mode. This button here, the center one, is pause and play. And this this audio now is pause. If you want to resume it again, you select again. Uh, okay. And this is up and down button here. 
this button here is mute the audio it's mute if you want to start it again then you cancel the mute okay and it will show you the volume it's currently in volume 3 now this button here is for you to increase and decrease the volume so after the mute if you increase the volume you see the number it will display so this is volume 8 then press the button downwards to decrease the volume this button here is information button once you press this button it will show you the connection i will show you the bt or how you the sandbar is connected and also if you select it now it will show it's showing us laptop it will show you the laptop number that this sandbar is connected via laptop if you press this information button the center one is sound mode this is bass boost currently so if you change it this is standard and this is channel level visual center if you select visual center then you need to use up and, and down to control it or to select the specific function you want so this is the sound control button or sound control setting this one with gear when press this button you see voice enhancement if you press it again it will show you night mode so you can adjust it accordingly night mode night mode is on if you, if you select it night mode is off so this button here is for you to select voice and night mode this button here is for you to select this is tone control if you select tone it will show you it will show you treble then you use up to increase it or down to decrease it showing us now is decrease to three if you increase it now you go to plus six maximum if you select it again tone control select it again it goes to bass then you select up it goes to bass plus because the, so the maximum for bass is plus six so this is the remote control how it works so guys what i want to do is to show you how to connect this samba to your tv via optical cable optical cable is not included in the packaging i'm going to put up a link how you can get this optical cable so connect so do this connection first of all you need to unplug the sandbar and take one end of the optical cable go in where it's written digital audio slash optical digital audio in Okay, and it's in so push it inside now take the other end of the cable to your TV where it's written digital optical audio out push it inside okay so it's in now the next thing we need to do is we need to connect the TV and sound bar to the power so plug the TV to the power and plug the sound bar and subwoofer to the power and if you look the subwoofer is currently flashing once you switch the sandbar on the light will be steady on okay once it's recognized so the next thing we need to do is we need to select switch the sandbar on and it's showing us hello now the next thing to do you need to use the input go to d in if you look on the subwoofer the light is steady on now the next thing we need to do is we need to switch the tv on the pursuit pastry this is tv audio now go to your tv settings so scroll down to the sound and it's showing us tv speaker you need to select on it 
screw to the side to optical optical out device select on it this is now connected and when it's in optical you need to use the this is the audio so use the soundbar remote to increase the volume this is the audio I like canopies that are chunky. So you're showing us now optical out device. But okay. I actually think there should be almost little mini meals. So Going to move this from one place. Do, don't want to leave it in one particular place. This is how to connect this soundbar to TV using optical cable. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed. Thank you.